Is a recession inevitable? Our next guest says that's the reset that's underway. It will bring prices back to reality. Let's welcome Jim Grant. He is founder and editor of Grant's Interest Rate Observer. Jim, welcome. It's great to see you again. Well, thank you, Kelly. Nice to be here. I, I, I feel in, in an unfortunate way like the world, at least, is probably starting to make a little more sense to you than it did the past couple of years. Yes. Well, Kelly, this is Interest Rate Liberation Day. Uh, the uh, Japanese peg on its... Uh, 10-year yield, 25 basis points, appears to have been broken or is breaking. And the Swiss, as Rick just observed, have, uh, have moved away a little bit from deep zero to slightly more that, or less than <laughs> deep zero. So uh, my uh, take on this is that uh, uh, this is fundamentally to the good interest rates being the most con the consequential prices in capitalism. They ought to be uh, market-determined. And we have been living, certainly since the Great Recession of so long ago, uh, with market, uh, not determination, but uh, uh, prices being administered largely by, by central banks. These important prices being administered by the central banks. And it has given us um, you know, lovely bull markets, but also, I think, a wholesale misallocation of resources, of time, and of brain power. Um, it's given us... Uh, you know, we had a great crypto delusion has given us uh, the, the immensity of private equity, highly leveraged, uh, public venture experiments, and on and on and on. So I think that we are leaving the all of mirrors and that interest rates, uh, if to the extent they will be determined in the marketplace, will be the guide for the future. I mean, that's a good thing. Jim, you know, you, you can, I guess, sum it up. Payback is rich, but it can make you poor in this case. How much longer does this uh, reset need to play out, and how much lower then uh, should we expect, for example, the stock market to go? How much, um, how much re recession risk is really baked into this reset as we return to a reality where the markets determine what rates are as opposed to policymakers yeah. artificially depressing them? Well, I think the way to think about the degree of difficulty now, say, that the Fed is undertaking is to uh, recall the uh, old fraternity, college fraternity trick in which the, uh, the pledge is tasked with pulling out the tablecloth from a table set with a fine crystal and uh, glassware. And, and uh, that pledge is likely to be uh, unsuccessful. And there'll be a clattering sound followed by his too timid yank at the tablecloth. And I think that is not a bad analogy. Um, you know, uh, inflation is a complex phenomenon. And uh, certainly, as we have all been able to observe, uh, ever so few predicted it. And now many are rushing to predict its end. So I think it will persist. I think the central banks will probably uh, become the recipients of the, 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 the events will be leading the central banks. We've been accustomed to thinking that central banks are in charge. No, events now, I think, will be in charge. And on form, uh, moves uh, exceed reason. Uh, it'll go too deep. Uh, the stock market perhaps and too high in interest rates. But I mean, I. Um, this is part of what we here at Grants call the value restoration project. And yes, it's painful, but it had to happen. And, um, you know, there are, there are opportunities in the wings, and I think uh, we ought not to get too discouraged. 